Okay, this week's advanced behavior segment, training your dog to lie down on his side from a distance or play dead from a distance. And if you watched the previous episode, I actually showed you how to do this, you know, pretty close. And this episode, we're just gonna put it on cue and just get the dog farther and farther away from us. And it's, a, it's kind of an advanced behavior. But what I wanna do is for the folks who haven't gotten a chance to see this or you folks that just kinda wanna refresh your course, we're gonna kinda show you how we train this behavior again because we get a lot of emails and things. So um, the first thing you wanna do is starting off, start off with your dog in a lying down position, okay? And if you could see, as, as you see Foster there, the whole idea with this behavior, as far as I'm concerned, is to watch the dog's hips rotate, okay? And what you want to do is you want to figure out which side you want your dog to lie on. So if I want the dog to flop over this way, I'm going to take the treat and put the treat over here, okay? And as I take the treat and put it over, I'm actually going to use the treat. And as he's trying to eat the treat, I'm just going to kind of move it up in the air just a little bit. Watch his hips. We say on your side. Watch those hips on your side. Boom, they rotate just like that. Just plop, okay? And then what, what I like to do is while he's in that position, have him stay there. Don't let him get up. Reward him. Then I say straighten up. Okay. So you can say straighten up. Okay, whatever. You want to release the dog. But I like to release the dog in the lying down position so I'm ready to go again. Your dog is going to start getting good with that treat. When the dog is getting good with the treat, we fade out the treat. We don't use the treat. So basically it's our hand. So now it's on your side. Still looks the same. Stay. And we're still going to reward the dog in that position. And then release the dog. Okay. Very, very nice. Next step is to put it on cue, okay? So what we want to do is, this was, this was what we were doing before, this is the cue. So watch this, on your side, stay. Very good, stay there. And we're going to reward him. Straighten up. What I want to do is I want to, I want to get some distance. So if I stay there, so if I get back a little bit here, now, again, if I were to ask the dog to lie down on his side and give him the cue from here, he probably is not going to understand because it's too confusing. So I want to get a little bit closer to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, stay, and I'm going to be just a little bit closer on your side, just like that. I'm only about maybe four feet away. So you want to come in, come in and reward your dog, okay, for lying down. You need to come in and reward your dog. Straighten up, stay. Great. One more time, stay. I'm only about four feet away on your side. Look at that, just like that. And we reward him, okay. Straighten up. We we're about four feet away. Now what you want to do, you don't want to get, you know, eight to 12 feet away, six feet away. Stay, okay? Just like that, about six feet away, on your side. Good, stay, and reward. One more time, straighten up, stay. And now we're gonna be about eight feet away. On your side, stay. And walk in and reward him. And we'll take it just a little bit farther probably 10 feet away this time, okay? Stay on your side. Stay and walk in and reward him. Very, very nice. That was a great job, Foster, give me five. Thank you. Well, that's our show today. And remember when you're training your dog not to bark and you are using some sort of collar, always keep the corrections to a minimum. I wanna thank all of our guests for coming on today. Most importantly, I wanna thank you for watching. I'm Joel Silverman, reminding you to bond with your heart, train with your brain. See you next time.